to the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am solving four noded quadrilateral element yet again because we have already done this derivation if you can recollect. But here I am going to use completely natural coordinates for solving. Previously, we had used rectangular coordinate system x, y. So, this is the rectangle which is given to me x, y coordinate a, b, c, d are the coordinates which are given. They are given in rectangular coordinate system if you can observe. I need to first convert them into natural coordinate system. Now for that, I will give you a very simple technique. Now this will be my zeta coordinate and this will be my eta coordinate. We should always remember that zeta eta is nothing but my x and y and second thing that in eta zeta coordinate we are going to only make use of three numbers minus one zero and one so let's start drawing this quadrilateral in this natural coordinate system for that first i'll draw a quadrilateral now i'll show you how do we transform the points this center position is always at 0, 0. From here, when I walk at this point, this distance will always be unity, which is 1. Similarly, in the y direction, again, this distance will be unity. So, zeta is 1, eta is 1. This is what we need to remember. So, here when I come, I have only walked along zeta, which is 1, and eta has not changed. When I walk from here to here, my x value remains the same. This y which means eta is going to become 1. When I walk back, I am walking along zeta. So, this will become 0 and y will still remain 1. When I walk further behind, this becomes minus 1 comma 1. When I go from here to here, I am changing my y axis. x axis will remain the same. y will become 0. When I go from here to here, my x will be still the same. y will become minus 1. When I go from here to here, my x is going to change to 0, y will remain the same because the height is still the same and when I go from here to here, my x becomes 1 and y will remain the same. So, these are the coordinates and this is how we are supposed to mark them. Now, this is just a marking that I am showing you. We are not going to use all of them. Since the, the derivation is of 4 noded quadrilateral element, for me only 4 nodes are of importance. That is A, B, C, D as shown here. So, I'll mark this node as 1 and this is A. This node is 2 and this is B. This node is 3 and it is C. And this node is 4 which is D. So, only 1, 2, 3, 4 are important for me. These rest of the points are just shown to you in this lecture series for you to understand as to how I have got these 4 coordinates. So, only take these 4 into picture and neglect the rest of them for the derivation purpose. Now, this is the diagram which we are going to focus on because we have very well converted into a natural coordinate system. So, I will start with calculation of shape function for each node. So, I will start with phi 1. So, let me say I want to find phi 1. So, I will write down let phi 1 is equal to a into some terms like I have shown you the derivation before. But before that, I should know that this phi 1 term will vanish along certain lines. If you observe carefully, I have 4 lines. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4. 4 lines. So, if you are talking about phi 1, which is node 1, it will vanish along 1, 2 and 1, 4. So, I will write down phi 1 vanishes along lines 1, 2 and 1, 4. So, this phi 1 will now be A into 2 equations. The equation will be of 2, 3 and 3, 4. Now, when I look at this line 2, 3, you have to understand that equation of line 2, 3 or you can call it as B, C, C, D, D A, A D or A B, whatever you want. I am using line numbers. So, when I talk about line 2, 3, look very carefully. Zeta is remaining same. So, I can say the equation of this line is 
zeta is equal to 1. If you look at eta, it is not a constant value. So I cannot use this as a term for calculating the equation of the line. But I can very clearly say that zeta is 1. Therefore, I can say 1 minus zeta is equal to 0. Next line if I have to talk about is 3, 4. So the equation of line 3, 4 is when you look here, zeta is going to change but eta remains constant. So I can say eta is equal to 1 which is same for all the three nodes here which means this is the equation of line 3, 4 or I can say 1 minus eta is equal to 0. So let me substitute these two over here 1 minus zeta 1 minus eta. This is my first equation. Now next I will have to calculate the value of A. So I will write down at node 1 phi 1 will be 1 and zeta is equal to when you look here zeta is minus 1 eta is minus 1. So I will substitute everything here I get therefore 1 is equal to A into 1 zeta is minus 1 so plus 1 and this will be 1 plus 1 therefore a is equal to 1 upon 4 when i substitute this over here i get therefore phi 1 is equal to 1 upon 4 1 minus zeta 1 minus eta now when you talk about node 2 3 and 4 if you want you can derive them but i show you a very easy technique of writing the rest of them down but if you still want to know for node 2, I will be vanishing lines 2, 3 and 1, 2. The equation of these two lines will not be considered. I will use 3, 4 and 1, 4. When I talk about node 3, I will say 3, 4 and 2, 3 vanishes. These two lines should not contribute their equations. When I talk about node 4, 1, 4 and 3, 4. These two lines should not contribute towards formation of 5, 4. So I am not going further and calculating all three of them. I think you can do it. But rather in the exam, if you are supposed to write them down, you don't have to calculate all and show. You can just calculate one and say that similarly I have found the rest of them. So I'll just show you the rest of them. Now these are the three terms which I need to find. Now in 5-1, if you remember, I'll just write down over here again. This is what I had obtained. For 5-2, 5-3, 5-4, I am also going to obtain these 1 by 4 terms and again I will have 2 brackets because I told you 2 lines will not be contributing the equations everywhere and here I will have a relation of 1 zeta, 1 eta everywhere. Now you have to remember that these signs I am taking from the coordinates. Now when you look here these two had minus minus so i had minus minus in this derivation now this is just a technique or a trick i'm giving you for remembering in case in the exam you're supposed to write uh, this derivation you may just calculate one and show the rest as similarly and write the answers because if you solve for all four of them it may take up a lot of time uh, but again it depends on how much marks the question is for suppose if it's a 10 mark question which means you'll obviously have to solve for all four of them but if it's a very small question like a five marks one four or five marks then you need not calculate all of them just calculate one and for rest you just write down similarly calculating for the others so just remember this trick uh, that for the sign what you will do is from the first node you will take up these two negative signs so here i have minus minus when i talk about five two five three five four i will look at the coordinate for B, I have plus minus. So here I'll write down plus minus. For C, I have both as plus, and for D, I have minus plus. So I'll write down plus plus minus plus. Now these are rest of the shape function for a quadrilateral element in natural coordinate system. So I hope you have understood the derivation. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session with a numerical on this topic. Thank you.